In this video, we'll explore two of the most commonly used and commonly misunderstood parameters for configuring how a large language model, or LLM, generates responses, temperature and top P. While many people start with temperature, I think it's easier to start with top P. For every prompt, an LLM generates a response from a pool of potential tokens. The top P parameter controls the size of that pool. A higher top P value includes more tokens, while a lower top P value includes fewer. The temperature parameter then controls how randomly the LLM selects the tokens from the pool. A higher temperature value means the LLM is more adventurous or unpredictable and will consider more of the tokens in the pool. A lower temperature value means the LLM is more deterministic sticking to the most likely choices while ignoring the others. It might help to visualize this. Imagine top P as a square and the size of the square represents the number of tokens the LLM can consider. Then think of temperature as a circle inside of that square and the circle represents how many of the tokens the LLM actually does consider. A small circle inside a large square means the LLM has access to many tokens but it ignores many of them, resulting in a response that is precise and narrow. A large circle in a small square means that the LLM is trying to be creative, but is restricted by the pool size, resulting in a response that is wild, but constrained. Here's a diagram to break this down. On the left is the temperature, which changes the size of the circle, and along the top is top P, which changes the size of the square. Each quadrant represents the behavior resulting from the unique combinations of these values. Low top P and low temperature, which is a small circle in a small square. This yields a safe and simple response. High top P and low temperature, which is a small circle in a large square. This is when the LLM has more options, but is cautious and considers few of them. Low top P and high temperature, which is a large circle in a small square, this is going to be a creative response that is constrained by the available options. And high top P and high temperature, this is a large circle in a large square, this is going to be a wild and imaginative response. So remember that top P controls what is on the table, the tokens the LLM can choose from, and temperature controls how freely the LLM can use those tokens. Together, these two parameters determine how creative and predictable of a response is generated. If you're enjoying this video and want to see more, click the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit the like button. To be notified of future videos, click the bell to know as soon as new videos are published. So when would you use each of these? If you want to play it safe, use low top P and low temperature. This is the most restrictive and is appropriate for factual Q&As, legal documents, and code generation. When you increase the top P, it's more appropriate for formal business writing, such as executive summaries or sensitive content. The response will still be conservative, but with a wider vocabulary. An LLM with high temperature but low top P might be good for casual chatbots or when you want a humorous tone, but still want to install some guardrails on the response. And if you're ready to walk on the wild side, set the temperature and top P to high values. If you're generating stories, poetry, or brainstorming and don't want to leave anything out, this will give you maximum creative freedom. And in case you were wondering, yes, you can set these values in Olama. There are two ways to do this, three if you use the AI toolkit for Visual Studio Code, and we will look at them in the next videos.